Greetings to everyone today. Thank you for coming to watch this video today. I thank you and appreciate you very much. I want to talk to you today about how God made man a living soul. In Genesis 2 and 7, I'll read to you right quickly. And the Lord formed God, man, out of the dust of the ground. And he breathed into his nostrils the bread of life. And man became a living soul. That is a very good scripture for us to, to understand today because God has breathed into our life and we are a living soul. Whether we know it or not, our soul is going to live forever. And it's, it's something that God is going to, has planted inside of us and we will live forever. If we serve God and serve the living God, we're going to live forever in eternity in a wonderful place called heaven. You know, every one of you have a soul today. You're accountable to God for how you live and what you do. Everything that we do in life will be held accountable. And if it's not repented of, then you'll have to stand before God. And standing for the great white throne judgment is going to be one of the most uh, horrific things that a person ever has to do. Because this one day everyone is going to have to stand before God and give an account of what he has done in life. I trust with all my heart that you're living for God today. But if you're not living for God today, it's time for you to bow on your knees and cry to God because he's building you. He's given you all the things that you have. He's given your five senses. You can see, you can hear, you can do all those things that God has planted in your life. And he's put you here on this universe for a reason. You're not here by an accident. You're here because God has made you a living soul. He wants you to find out what your place is in life and then do the best you can. Don't ever succeed to failure or everything that you put yourself down all the time. But lift up your voice and thank God for he created you and he made you just exactly like you are. I thank God for my name and my family and where I came from. I appreciate the heritage that my family gave me and raised me for God and taught me the things of God and took me to church. Folks, I want to tell you, if you've never heard about these things, remember, you've got a soul implanted on you. There's nothing in this world that you should do that would keep you out of heaven because you're a living soul and God wants you to stand before him with a pure and a holy atmosphere where you can go in the streets of gold and enjoy the wonders of heaven. And I want to tell you, if you're not ready to meet God, now is the accepted time and now is the day. Time to pray. Thank you for listening to this broadcast. I pray you'll pray and get right with God if you're not already. In Jesus' name. Praise God. God bless.